Hello team, it's Rich, it's Neil. It's the Adidas footwear range for 2022. We are gonna go through it. Let's get to it. Right team, first up's the Adidas 22 yards boost. Let's have a little look. It's in our box, it's all exciting. We unveil, and what do we see? Blimey, what do we see? Well, I can't find any laces, but I think we're gonna talk about some of this stuff in a minute. Got our funky lines on the side, Adidas stripes, bit of writing to tell us what it is, emblem to tell us who makes it. And a very funky sole. Good, just we on wandering around. Okay, so let's, so this is what you get in the box team. You get your shoes, a little bit of tissue paper to look after it. So let's discard that for the moment and let's, should we start talking? Right, what do we see? What do we, what are the technical bits that we can pick up on? I think we've got to start underneath with this one, Rich. Yeah. Um, for anybody out there looking for spikes, this is not a spiked shoe. Yeah. So uh, it's very much got a pimpled sole. Um, I would say they're, they're very pointy, actually. Not, not your traditional <laughs> pimples. They're, they're very, very pointy, which is going to give you really good grip. See, they're quite hard, aren't they? And they're hard as well. But yeah. they're going to give you really good grip out on, out on any surface outside, I would have thought. Yeah. Um, as we turn them over, and I do quite like the funky yellow. It's do you? Cool. See, I think as a as a as a sole, that for a, a batter, I think would be would be would be great. And I guess you know they added out of design that for a batter, batting for long periods of time. They yeah. aim for as much comfort as possible. Um, potentially, a wicket keeper could use those. Maybe a fielder, if you wanted. Yeah, to. I think there's a great lightweight option for batters. If I was a bowler, there's going to be other shoes in the range that can be much more suitable to a bowler because yeah. they're going to have spikes. They're going to give you that traction that you need. Yeah. Uh, these are. A really good lightweight shoe for batters. I think you're right, Rich. Keepers would probably want to wear these as well. They're not going to get stuck in the ground when they're moving. Yeah. Um, in 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 you know, those in that sort of condition. So good lightweight shoe. Um, if I'm grazing down at fine leg, sent down there. Yeah. I think I might be uh, taking a nice lightweight option to run around the field in. I think you're right. I think, I think that's a good option. I think you're right. You mentioned uh, really. You mentioned no shoelaces. Yes. Um, that threw me a bit. Yes. Yeah, going to throw me too. I think. Um, They've got their boa, what they call their boa tightening. The boa uh, constrictor. Yeah, the boa, yeah. the boa tightening system, which I'm going to have a go with that in a minute, and um, we'll, we'll see how we get on with that. But as you can see, um, it, it's really like a, a, a wire that goes through replacing the shoelaces, yeah. which hopefully when I put that on and tighten it up, it should then lock the shoe into position into my foot. But um, overall, good batting shoe. As far as protection is concerned, you've got reinforced you have, you? Um, almost front toe position there. So if you do get that Yorker on your foot, um, you've got a bit more su support there, haven't bit, you? A bit more stability in there, in that in that section there. If you get it one square on the toe, that's where your climber yeah. cool comes in, and that's probably not going to be quite. It's very exciting. breathable. It's going to help you sweat and yeah. um, get rid of the you know any moisture the in there. But there's not much protection in there. But I wouldn't worry too much that too much about that as a batter. You're gonna ultimately be using your bat, and I don't think many people get hit right flush on that part of the shoe. So, um, and they've designed that yeah. in keeping with it. So you've got your added protection in the front toe. Um, it's all in all in tongue here, so you can see that it's it's sewn in all the way. So that's a, I think that's quite an added comfort factor. It's not going to slip around. It's always going to stay in place. You've got lots of high technology within the Boost support system in the mm. the Adidas Boost in the just under, above the sole there, in the midsole, I think it's probably called. You're looking around, are you gonna give that one a try? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this one that, 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 that we may have prepared earlier, just because it's hopefully in my size. I'm not sure what that one is. So, uh, first of all, I think it's gonna be interesting, I've grabbed this chair because um, having not put a pair of shoes on Without laces. Without laces before. <laughs> this is going to be my first challenge. Um, I've also come prepared. Uh, I've actually got my cricket socks on, which we'd certainly re recommend. Yes. Um, you're going to spend a lot of time on your feet. Make sure you've got a really nice pair of um, thick cricket socks on. Uh, th that might make a slight difference to the size than you go for, but it shouldn't make too much of a difference. But it will give you added comfort. So here goes 22 yards boost. Oh, Ooh, they slide on. To be fair, it slides on like a slipper. Um, this is where the boa hopefully tightening system then works. For those that have never used this before, you pull it out to, a, to, to loosen it off, then you push it back in and then we tighten. And you can see these wires just tightening into my foot there. 
which I'm gonna stand does up. Does it feel supported? Yeah, it does actually. <laughs> it does. It surprised you that, didn't it? Um, a little bit. I mean, it, I don't want to look down and see there's no laces, but I think once you're used to that, it's a really comfortable, comfortable fitting shoe. Oh, he's, I think he's excited. <laughs> I think as a batter, it also feel, it does feel re really pretty lightweight. Yeah. Um, I'm going to have a go at trying to get it off though, that's the next challenge. Oh yeah, good shout. Um, so if you do get these, there is a knack to it, you literally, this boa tab's going to pull out, which is then going to uh, unleash the pressure in the system there, and you should then be able to slide them off. You're a fan, aren't you? No laces. No laces. <laughs> Could be the way forward. Yeah. So that is... That's the 22 yards boost, the batting shoe. What are your thoughts? And I think you can feel it. I think, I think for me, um, that definitely serves a, a really good purpose, really lightweight. Yeah. I could batten it. For me, I think I prefer a half and half spike if I was batting. I think a half and half spike for me covers off a few more options. So yeah. um, I think this would be great indoors um, as well and, and great outside if you really want a lightweight shoe. But for me, I think I prefer some spikes in the front end for me. Yeah, you see, um, I, I, I personally use a, a mixture of the two. I go uh, a soft shoe and a, and, a, and a spike shoe. So, yeah, I think, uh, I think they'd be interesting. I think I'd give them a try, see how I got on. Well, you never told me that you were allowing two pairs of shoes in your bag. Oh, yeah. Well, in that case, then that might be an option. Yeah. But I certainly think as a bowler, you're not going to... You, you, you might struggle you're a bit. You're not going to go for that as a bowler because you're just not going to get a traction in delivery stride when you're landing on that front foot and there's some pressure going through the crease. I think you want a bit more there than just, just, just the pimpled soles. But if you allow me to have two pairs of shoes in my bag, these might slip in as a, a, as a, as a nice lightweight fielding pair and also a second batting pair. pair. Yeah. Cool. Team, it's the 22 yard spike and here it is. Let's find out. Cool. Okay, we're still... Oh, we've got spikes in this one, team. Down the bottom. There we go. All the way on top. It's very similar to our, our boost in the way that it looks, our 22 yards boost. The pimple tube added at around the side, telling us what it is, and the old fashioned three stripes. Cool. Right, let's get into a bit of what she looks like. I know you like to start <laughs> Australian start, style. Start down, under. start down under. Okay, so as, as you mentioned there, Rich, um, well, you can use this as a full spike shoe. Uh, it will come with if you've got it in there, it also come with a little wrench to undo these uh, spikes to take them out if you wanted to, to make it either just a, a plain flat sole or you could even go half and half, which I know some people like to do. Yeah. Um, as far as construction's concerned, as you said, very similar to the 22 yards boost in terms of what it's made. A very good lightweight shoe. It's going to suit batters, this one. Okay. Uh, nice and ideal for batters uh, and, and probably in the field um, too. You've got You've got a bit of extra protection on the toe areas there, it's reinforced, um, pretty solid actually. If you get hit on there, I think you're going to be fine. Um, le less, less protection in, in the top end of the, it is, the foot, yeah, but they're but... a bit more the breathable, the climber cool areas, aren't they? So you're going to stop. Yeah, and that, and that breathability actually runs all the way through. It does, doesn't it? Uh, all yeah. the way through, all the way round. Um, we have typical standard shoelaces in this one. Yes. I say that, it's different, <laughs> different to the Boost. The Boost has the, uh, the BOA tightening technology, which is like a piece of wire that runs through it. This is more your traditional uh, laced shoe. See, I'm going to jump in here, team, and say difference again between the BOA and, and the Spike is that you've got, or the Boost and the Spike, is you've got the tongue here that actually is just a, a free and open tongue compared mm. to the other one, which was an all-in-one type shoe. I guess that's because the constrictor does constrict and it makes that a little bit easier. So yeah, and pull pull pulls you in. It does doesn't it? Um, Looks like you've got. I think it's an adiprene technology here through the the sole. Mm. So it's quite a. It's quite. I think adiprene is is not quite like the Boost. The Boost is like super super comfortable. The adiprene's a next level that sort of up or down, which or sideways, whichever you look. It's got it's got good durability and it's got good support and it's got good sort of energy rebounds to you. Uh, but it will be just a little bit of a stronger and a slightly slower energy rebound, whereas your boost is a little bit more. Ooh, mm. Walking on clouds. Um, oh, you go on. You gonna... I'm going. I'm going to try one on. Oh, go on then. Let's uh, go. I've got one here in in hopefully my size. It's not spiked underneath. It's got 
we've taken it, we haven't got the spikes in there on this one. Um, but in terms of, uh, let's have a little look in terms of How comfort and yeah. putting her on, straight on there. Oh, it feels, it looks much better when you're doing your laces up, I must say. <laughs> it feels more normal. <laughs> yeah. There we go. In terms of... Uh, so, Gorm, what's your comfort levels? Because you were super, you literally stood up with the boost and went, oh, wow. Yeah, I, I, I think for me, this feels, this feels what you'd expect in a, a decent quality Adidas piece of cricket footwear. It's much closer to a normal Adidas trainer yeah. in terms of comfort levels. You know, Adidas, obviously, world renowned in terms of their footwear technology, and you're going to get that then in a cricket. Sure. A cricket option. Yeah. So for me, this is it fits really well. Um, it's comfortable. I, I feel I've got lots of support in there. Quite a good insole too, um, yeah. uh, but light enough as a batter that I'm not going to get weighed down. And I could I could feel myself fielding in this as well for another four or five uh, hours in a day. So a bowl, uh, bowling wise, yeah. I mean, <sighs> yeah. I, th I think. Um, Certainly as a spinner, absolutely fine. Yeah. I think maybe as a quicker bowler, you'd probably want a little bit more support yeah. uh, in and around the ankle area because it does cut away. You can see, you can see in here, um, the cut of the ankle is like a normal train, more like a normal trainer. Yeah. Uh, so I think as a bowler, particularly as a seamer, where you're putting some energies through that crease, you'd want a little bit more support. But I think as a batter and stroke fielding, I think that's a that's a great option. It is, isn't it? Um, you can then decide what you do with the spikes, whether you have a full spike or if you know in Half early spike. season, if it's yeah. a bit wet, a bit damp, you might have a full spike, but then you can take out the back ones if you wanted just a half and half. Yeah. Um, and you can probably get away with taking them all out and using them in the winter in a, in a sports hall somewhere as a more of a trainer, but really good lightweight, lightweight option for batters, I'd say. Yeah, this one comes in sizes six to 12, so it comes in a wide variety of options. I mm. would say this one's, this shoe's been around for quite a while in the Adidas range. And I think from that point of view, that kind of tells you quite a bit about things, doesn't it? If it's been around, it generally means it, it works really well and it sells mm. really well. And, and I think I know, I've known people have and use the 22 yard shoe and they've really, they've really liked it. So yeah. I think. I don't think you can go too wrong. You can't um, go too far wrong. Uh, out, out of the range, that's, that's close to a cricket trainer as you're gonna, gonna get, but with the added spikes, Spike if you want them. You're right, it's been around for a few years. It's gone through, a it's gone through different colorway changes. It has. It's previously been orange. I think there's been some blue in there before. I quite like the yellow. Yeah. I think it's quite a standout. It is, isn't that? You, so as a, Batter spinner? Were you, you thinking? Yeah, I think. Oh, I, th I, use that? I think a th very similar construction to the boost. The the the, the difference being the laces, yeah. really, um, as as the mo the most obvious one. Um, so for me, I think I would probably go. I would have to go for the laced option, and because it's got the spikes yeah. um, over the boost, then that that one would be. You'd go for that. I think you? that's a yes for me. Yeah, good, and I'd give that a try too. I mean, I can't try them on. We didn't, we didn't get them in my size team. That's You're, rubbish, isn't it? Your flippers are too big. They are, aren't they? We're moving in towards the bowling range, and that is, maybe we're running up to the bowling range. Do you like that? It's terrible, wasn't it? We're going to the vector mid. Okay, so this is what you get when you open your box. Other than very excited, and hopefully two pair, two shoes. Okay, so you've got your vector mid, which automatically looks a bit chunkier, looks a bit bigger, and there's a lot more going on. Okay, so all oh, crikey, that feels a lot harder and a lot more supportive or supporting. Slide round, eye yellows, onto the, the sole. Seems like we've got a spike and a little bit of the, the boost pimple there. Uh, and again, not much going on around here, but the heel feels a little bit different. Ah, team, here we go. Look, hiding in the undergrowth. Look what I found. Unbelievable. Right. Okay, I think there's a bit to talk about here, team. So, crikey. We normally we start. start I mean, you normally start on the bottom, <laughs> don't you? All right, let's, let's start there, although I feel there's more to talk about on top this time round. Yeah. Uh, you're right, underneath uh, Rich, uh, less pimples going on. This is really more of a full spiked shoe, I would say. Yeah. I don't think you're going to wear this much indoors, if at all. Really designed for cricket and outside. Um, to take those forces, hence the, um, the spike, fully spiked option. Uh, as we come on top, you've still got the iconic Adidas three stripes in yeah. there in, the, in its yellow, in all its glory. Um, 
We've got a bit of a sort of rubberized front of the toe going on. Uh, again, less protection. For the batter? For, for the batter. Uh, so probably. If you compare that to the boost, it looks very different. Probably still enough protection in there, it's not going to hurt if you get yeah. hit on there. But it's probably also enough in there, if, if you, as a bowler, if you're dragging your foot through the crease anywhere. Yeah. That's probably going to that, stop that big hole appearing that, that's, that, that, that you can see with some um, big fast bowlers. Um, quite a chunky sole, I'd say. It is. There's a lot of heel protection here. So you're yeah. going to get, and this is a particularly deliberate ploy, they're going to put some, some work into that. Um, so you've kind of got an, I think it's an aerosine is how they call it, for mm. additional heel support. So as you hit through and land, you get more support. So it's a definite fast bowler type, medi good fast medium bowler yeah. option, isn't it? Yeah, definitely a seamer. Yes. I would say. Yeah. Um, it's got a higher cut in the ankle to give you more support. Yes. I'm interested to see what that's like and how it oh, feels yes, when I put that one on. Yeah. Um, but you mentioned hiding in the undergrowth. We can't really ignore it, but we've got uh, the boa tightening technology. Um, I'm slightly confused with that at the moment before putting <laughs> it on. We've got a lace option and inside, if you can see, we've also got this boa tightening technology, which with the wires is going to constrict and hopefully wrap the, the, the shoe around my foot when, when, when put on. But um, So it's basically the mid foot, so from almost, almost the top of the ankle bone mm. all the way down to um, hopefully just sort of the, the arch, that's going to get constricted. I am intrigued to see whether that's a bit more of a gimmick or an a actually, actually really makes a difference because you've got already the higher cut in the ankle which is going to give a bit more support around here. You've got extra stability in the heel through that sole. So it'd be interesting to see how much of a difference that that makes that, that makes as well. So yeah. I think we're going to have to dive straight in and, and, and give it a try. put some on. So on, let, let, let's have a look. Hopefully this one is in my size. It hasn't got the spikes on just so we don't destroy the carpet. So. First of all, I'm going to have to take a seat for this. There's a lot, yeah, of, good, so good, good I, lot of stuff to do. Yeah. Now, I would say straight away, Rich, I've nearly pulled the, pulled the wire out. I've gone to tie my shoelaces with my finger there and I've, and I've started to pull the wires. So this has got to be a bit more of a delicate operation. A bit fiddly, isn't it? Yeah. Not a quick one you're going to do down at fine leg, too. I'm not sure I know many big fast bowlers who are delicate. No, I don't think I know any. No, I don't um, think I know any. But we'll see. It's a bit more of a bit more of a squash and a squeeze to get on, but I think that's purely because of the the higher right nature up. of the boot here. Does it um, feel quite supporting? Uh, the support? I'm not sure yet, Rich. Oh, I've got okay. a, if I do my laces up, I'll, I might be able to tell you. Interesting. I like the way. So they've looped the laces round. They've come lace there to just pull that ankle in a bit more. Yeah. Um, that not many people do that through their boots. They actually just tie them up normally like a normal shoe. But you can see there how they've just looped it in. And when I pull them together, actually just already Tight, brings that tighter into my ankle, which is that's a really nice touch. It is for a fast bowler, isn't it? Because obviously a lot of stress goes through their joints. Yeah. Ankles being one. So same again with the um the bow. Bow of Titan. We're gonna we're gonna give it a Titan. Ooh. How does Ooh, that, that... <laughs> well, okay. What's going on here? Well I feel it's tightening in here. Oh. Which is not what Quite I was what expecting. Oh it's, it's definitely You're not I, you're not so comfortable. I think I might have over tightened it. I might be on ice. I'm gonna have to pop too. this back out because that's pinching me now in that bit there, which I wasn't oh, okay. expecting. Yeah. Um, I was more expecting it just to be in this area, but it actually pulls in a bit from around here. A bit further down. Um, so by pulling it out, it just releases it. Yeah. Well, quite easily, to be fair. Um, and I'll have another go, maybe not tighten it quite so much. Yeah, that's a bit better. <laughs> <laughs> we, we nearly lost Neil's foot there, Oh, dear. We lost the circulation. But, but to be fair, it does... It does then prove that it does work. I can feel the, the, the wires in there constricting yeah. the, the, the foot into the, to the boot, which as a fast bowler, when you've got some energies going through that crease. You're going to want some support. You do want that support. Well, I think this is, from the way that you're talking this one through, it seems like we need, you need to, this one's definitely one to come into a store and try it on because it's quite different? Well, I think you've got a couple of different types of technology in there. You've got your shoelaces and your boa tightening technology. So you're tightening it from a few different angles. Mm. Uh, ultimately, you're getting a lot more support. So if you, are a, if you are a bowler and you're looking for that extra support 
particularly around your ankle. If you struggle with um, yeah, any sort of ankle needs, then you can see in the cut of the boot there that it's cut, cut that bit higher already. So even without the BOA tightening technology, it's going to be a better fit around your ankle. Yeah. Um, I'd actually say it's quite light still, though. Um, it feels quite light enough that it's not going to feel heavy on your feet all day. I'd say that that's definitely fair from from how what you can feel on on the top of the shoe. I know. Do you know what? And I'd go for. I know we might have different views on this, Rich, but if I've only got one pair of boots in my bag, yeah. as a bowler. I could probably get away batting in these. Yeah. You know, by nature of maybe where I'm batting, if I'm down the order a bit, I might not be batting for quite as long a time. Yeah. So the compromise would be a really good, good bowling, bowling shoe. shoe. Yeah. Um, if because other than you, Rich, you've probably got multiple pairs of shoes for multiple occasions. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, if I've only got one pair in my bag, then yeah. that's good. This is gonna. That's gonna. Serve. It's gonna do the job as a bowler. Yeah. And I'm gonna be happy with that, and I'm gonna be happy probably in the field. It's not too clunky. Yeah. Yeah, probably gonna probably gonna be suitable for a lot of people. Yeah, I think I think I think it's a I think it's a good shoe. It's a lot of funkiness in the technology there, and I think they've tried to put a lot of support in there for for bowlers mm. so, um, and and balance that out with the the breathability and the lightweightness. So I think yeah, I think for seamers that's a really good option. One for you? Um, you well, obviously you wear that? I might need to I might need to uh, purchase some pace in the shop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And a, and a quicker arm action. But yeah, I really like that. I'd give that a try. Yeah. I'd, I'd say definitely try it because as a bowler, I think you're going to get some really good support and then it's down to how, how you like your support and where you want it, but mm. I'd go for it. Now this one team is available in sizes 8 to 13, so uh, just for, for, uh, for those adults amongst you. Cool. I think, that's, I think that's a real positive team. We like that one. We're getting mathematical with vectors. Were you any good at those at school? I don't think I was. Right. Vector 20. Let's have a little look. Boom. So, oh, again, it's different. Um, the colourway isn't, but looks like a looks like a trainer again. And we've got the well, you can see the strap. Oh blimey! I think I'll leave Neil to talk about that one. Usual colourway around the sides and on the bottom. A spiked option. Cool. Right team enough of having a little look at it let's talk about it I think starting down below then rich uh, full spike option if you want it um, limited amount of pimples yeah so probably not going to be used as as uh, as a pure pimple chill, I wouldn't have thought. I think yeah. there's probably other there's other options in the Adidas range that would be better suited to that. So this is really going to be a full spike option, yeah. um, or potentially a half and half spike if you wanted to do that. Uh, coming through on top, you've got the um, the three Adidas stripes on the top there. Um, very much more sort of fabric fabric based this shoe, I'd say. A bit more fabric heavy. You've still got a bit of protection in in the toe line around here, but less reinforcement than than some of the other shoes. Um, Noticeably with this one though, we've got this extra strap across the across the, the foot uh, shoe here, which once you've done your shoelaces up, um, and hopefully we'll see when, when I put this one on, um, that's just really gonna strap your foot firmly into the shoe. Um, it's gonna bolt you in there, keep it nice and tight, I would imagine. Uh, we've got, a, we've got we're back to a low cut ankle with this one. Yeah. So as you mentioned, a bit more trainer style um, at the back there. But as we know, Adidas have been producing, you know, trainers worldwide for a long period of time so they're very good at that you get all their trainer technology in a cricket shoe so you're going to benefit from that which is great it's got a bit of reinforcement coming through the heel as yeah. well still uh, from, from that sole um, helps with the helps with the, the landing here for bowlers particularly um, yeah. and again they've got the adipreen which is again that slightly denser slightly less quick energy recovery um, completely the opposite to the boost where you get that spring that's quite so quick it's also still quite a lightweight shoe. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Um, quite a lightweight shoe. I'm going to try one of these on. Rich. Go on then. Well, I'm just going to show them that we've got the tongue here and it's an open tongue, it's not an enclosed one. Um, but I guess we better find out what it feels like when it gets put on. Go right, on. here we go. So, you're going to have to open up that strap first of all just to create enough uh, area to dive my foot in there. Um, I've got my cricket socks on, so I'm fully prepared with this one. And as we said, I think I think the technique here is to probably tighten the laces first. I 
maybe even go to one more ankle hold if I was putting these on properly. Get those tightened and then it'd be interesting to see what difference this makes. So as I bring this Velcro strap across, I can really, I mean, you don't want to try and catch your laces. That's because that no, they tear, just yeah, exactly. tear, tear, the, tear the laces <laughs> up, but I can really lock, lock my that foot into, down, yeah. into place there. Um, what are your thoughts? Does it make it, does the strap make a big difference? I'd say, I'd say it makes a difference. Um, I think you, you certainly feel locked into the shoe. Yeah. I'd say it's, a, it's quite a lightweight feeling option. I think, I think if you're a, a more of a big fast seam bowler, you probably want a slightly high cut ankle to yeah. feel more locked it get more support so i think because of that you'd if you were a big fast bowler you'd maybe go more towards um the vector the vector yeah whereas this yeah. one is going to serve as a really good option for anyone that's probably an all-rounder bats a bit bowls a bit maybe bowls more spin than fast seam um it's going to work for keepers a bit as well probably but more so for your sort of genuine all-rounders i think Okay. Um, it feels quite light. I could probably wear it all day. Yeah. Um, but less support than the other Around bowling the option from Adidas. How about does it feel in terms of energy? So as you sort of land, do you feel like you've got... Yeah, I've got plenty of stability. Yeah. So and so I, th so I think that comes from that strap. Good. Yeah. So if you are bowling um, and you're bowling seam, you're still going to get a good level of support in there. Yeah. Now that strap's just going to lock your foot in, give you some control when that front foot hits that crease line. Um, so that you feel really in control as you're coming through in your delivery stride, I would have thought. Yeah. Um, yeah, you're gonna feel, you're gonna feel like you, you know it's there and you, you're in control. Well, that's good, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's an interesting range, I think this, and I think it sits just a little bit in a, in a slightly different spot. But lots of seam bowling options here, isn't there? So you, you know, your medium pacer, your slightly faster bowler could get into that. A spinner could get into this mm. and use it. So it's quite a good bowling shoe. It's, it's, it's certainly sort of lighter fabric throughout. Yeah. Um, you d definitely, you can almost see it there. And, and, and you've still got a bit of protection in there from, if you're batting in it, it's a little bit more support against the ball, but also when you're bowling and that, and that foot's coming through the crease, if you're dragging your foot, then that should reinforce it enough to that you have a decent season, I thought. Yeah. One for the bowlers team. It's the umpire's favorite question. How's that? Well, we've got a spike for you. Okay. So let's have a little look. Oh, what can we find? What do we see? Well, we find another spiked pair of shoes. Can we go the funky yellow down the bottom? Now, this feels very lightweight, team. Very lightweight indeed. All the way around. Again, we have a strap around, and it looks like it goes all the way around here. Cool, let's keep taking you around. Oh, that's a bit different. Like an all-in-one. Like a onesie for a shoe. And then the other side, go to our Adidas logo. And of course, we get a bit of Adipreen technology in. They just let us know all about it. Let's find out a little bit more information. Let's see what's going on. What do you, what do you notice? Well, I think starting straight underneath, uh, spiked option. Less, yeah. less spikes available than some, some of the other soles. Yes. Uh, so you're going to get slightly less grip, um, but enough there still to serve, serve a purpose. Uh, over on the front end, we've got a bit of leather going across the sort of front edge of the toe, which again will probably help with a, a bit of protection. Yeah. Because then you move into the sort of more moisture management microfiber material here of um, wicking away, and wicking away yeah. the sweat. It's a bit more trainer style once we get to that point there. You mentioned, I think, Rich, in there about a strap. This is not adjustable, this strap. It's permanently built in. Yeah. So um, it's like a, it's like an extra piece of elastic that's just hopefully holding your foot in. Yeah. Be interesting to see how that feels when you put it when, on. When we yeah. try that one on. Um, doesn't actually have a tongue to the shoe. It's almost more, it's more like a slipper that you're going to slide your foot into. Yeah. Um, to be fair, similar sort of technology that you get in some football boots these days. Yeah, um, that's it's probably, probably come from that, uh, that development. Cool. Yeah. Um, you've still got your laces, obviously, to tie up and, and bolt yourself into, but um, 
uh, overall, I'd say this is gonna be probably a really good shoe for an entry level. Yeah. Um, if you're playing a lot of adult cricket, or a lot of cricket in general, I think there might be some other Adidas options that are better than this one for you. More specific ones. More they? specific ones to either yeah. batting or bowling. Yeah. This is gonna be an all round cricket shoe, yeah. probably at an entry level point, that if you want an Adidas shoe. You're gonna get a good one, but it, that's, what, that's what you're gonna get. Yeah, you're gonna get their training technology probably in the sole, yeah. um, uh, but less so in the top half of the, of the, shoe, the shoe. But um, I think we've got one here, hopefully my size. I'm gonna, um, cool. I'm gonna give it a go, Rich. Go on then. But, but it is it is like a slipper. I'm I'm looking. I'm feeling. Be interested to see how you get on with that. Yeah, my foot does slide into it. To oh, be that's fair, good. yeah, it does slide in. It's a good start. Um, Come on then. But as you can see, there's no there's no there's no tongue there. It's all there's nothing to pull. It's all in there, and my strap's already in. So I'm literally. How does that strap feel, by the way? Uh, feels alright. Feels alright. Um, I better stand up on it first. To, yeah. To really see how it feels, but I mean it's a. Do you know what, it's actually, it's a lightweight shoe. It's actually quite comfortable. Good. Um, I don't feel I've got any support in my ankle though. Yes, oh, you mean at the back or? I mean at the back here, I've got yeah. my socks on. And it's a low cut, it's a low cut. You know, my ankle a train style, there, isn't it? That is quite low, isn't it's it? It's trainer style, but because it's just the fabric, it doesn't feel like I've got much su support. Like support in there. Yeah. Um, it is a comfortable shoe, um, I just have, Less, yeah, less support in and around the ankle. It does feel like I'm not really even wearing a pair of trainers. It feels more like I am almost wearing more slipper style yeah. cricket footwear, if there is such a thing. Well, there is. Well, there is now, yeah. Because they've, they've, they've made it. So, yeah. I mean, look, it's, it's light enough, it's comfortable enough. It, it's not heavy, so I'm, if I'm playing a whole day, You'd be all right, I'll be all right. Yeah. Um, but I think if, for me, I would probably choose more of a specific shoe in the Adidas range because I know I'm going to be playing probably quite a lot of cricket. Yeah. And would need a bit more out of my shoes than this one. But if you're... If you're a junior cricketer, you do judge, those in size yeah. one to six, that's a really good option. It's a good junior option. The juniors, um, you know, you're going to get from a big brand, you're going to get their good Adidas footwear. You're going yeah. to get their footwear technology that they've, that they've built a massive business on. So it's a good entry level shoe. Um, which will which will play a good role for a lot of people. Yeah, and adults sizes seven to it, seven to thirteen. So, you know, it is it is going to fill fulfil that role for people, isn't it? That yeah, I, I think if you're not playing much cricket, if you if you're an adult and you're playing only four or five handful of games, then it's a good a good entry level price point. That if you still want to wear Adidas, you've got an option. I think if you're going to play more cricket and want a you know good quality shoe, then there's probably other other shoes in the range that would serve that purpose. Well. The umpire was asked, was it, how's that? And we've gone, that's not out. Team, we've really enjoyed this. It's been a fantastic, fun time to review Adidas shoes. We've got lots to talk about. Um, crikey, where do we start? So let's go with what we thought was the super duper. The, if you're a fast bowler, you really need to be hitting that vector mid shoe. Give that a try. We thought it had so much support in it compared to all the other shoes in the range. You've got your BOA technology, your BOA constrictor. You've got lots and lots of heel support in there as well. And Neil, whilst trying it on, really thought that was particularly supportive. And of course, you had the higher cut ankle. Um, so we go, if that's, if that's our main bowling shoe, mm. we then go, well, if you don't like that, you're gonna go to this one, eh? The Vector? Well, you're right. I mean, you've obviously, it looks like you've reversed the batting order here, haven't you? I know, we've got bowlers come, come straight in with the big bowlers. So definitely, uh, this is the one for the big fast bowlers. Yeah. Because of the extra support, particularly when I tried it on, the, the support you get through the laces, through the higher cut in the ankle. Cool. I think that was important. Um, it's the only one in the range that that, that had that higher cut is, yeah. ankle. So you do feel like you get far more support. So bowlers, I think that if you're looking for an Adidas shoe, that's going to be your number one option for uh, for this year. Then we're looking seam bowlers and spinners, aren't we? Yeah. Then I think I think it's probably a toss up, really, depending on personal preference. Um, the vectors. Yeah. Um, 
didn't have a high cut ankle, but they did have the strap across there, which yeah. does give you, locks your foot in a bit more, gives you a bit more support in the shoe. Um, it's still lightweight enough that you can bat in it and, field, and yeah. you can field in it. Um, but f for me, this is going to be a bit of a toss up between this one and the, the 22, 22 yards. yards. Now you felt, did we, we, we were chatting a moment ago and we thought that one was more bowling and then the batting option shoe. Yeah. We thought this could be the batting with the bowling option uh, because it's got so much support and te good technology in it. Um, so we thought you could bowl your, your seamers in that as well as, mm. uh, as, well as your spinners. A very comfortable batting shoe. Obviously, this one's a comfortable batting shoe with spikes. Now, we say that because the Boost with lots and lots of funky technology, obviously the Boa here, because you can see it, plus you've got your Boost technology, which if you've ever had a pair of Adidas trainers with Boost technology, it's like walking on clouds, isn't it? Um, the only thing is, it's going to come down to a bit of personal preference. Not everybody likes to bat in flat shoes. So this one's going to be, this is a great option, but if you want a spiked option to bat in, you're probably heading to your 22 yards. So it's, again, it's, it's good options, really good options, at a very high level of technology within the shoe. Mm. And then last but not least. Yeah, I think, and then down the end here, we've got the How's That Spike, which you do benefit from some of Adidas's technology, particularly in the sole and the footwear. It's a very lightweight option. Um, you've got the internal strap, which you can't adjust, yeah. but it does lock you in a little bit more. And then you've got your shoelaces, but it does feel a little bit more like a slipper than a, than a trainer that you're putting on. Uh, it's going to work for those not playing as much cricket or those youngsters that want to come through and there's a really good Adidas entry-level price point for, for those shoes because I think overall, um, you know, it's a well put together range. You're always going to benefit here from Adidas's huge, you know, brand power and the money they've invested invested in R and D over the years in trainer technology mm -hmm. now comes through into a cricket shoe. So you're going to be at the upper end of price points for cricket footwear. But what you are going to get is the benefit of Adidas's technology in in most of these. So it's just then going to come down to. Am I an out-and-out -out batter that wants a nice lightweight shoe? Yeah. And if I do, am I going for a spiked option or not a spiked option? If I'm a fast bowler, then really probably considering your uh, vector and your vector, vector mids. Yeah, and your vector, vector. mids really your two options. Yeah. Um, you, I think you're not going to go too far wrong. Um, if you're unsure, then you're probably in the middle two, the middle two here, aren't you? Yes. Which you, you've explained quite well, Rich. I think this is more bowler than batter friendly. Yeah. That's more batter than bowler friendly. Yeah, I think so. When you tried them on in terms of sizes, how did they get? Yeah, that's a good question. When we get often asked quite a lot, either you know, if you, if you can get in store, yeah, then brilliant, because then you can try them on. So come on, come on down. Um, I would also recommend trying them on with a pair of cricket socks. Yes. I was doing that all the way through this because yeah. that's what I'd wear on an actual match day when I'm wearing my cricket shoes. Yeah, you don't often wear your cricket shoes walking around Tesco, so make sure you've got the socks on that you you're going to be wearing for your yeah. match and i would at this point recommend a pair of cricket socks yeah ultimately guys when you're playing cricket you're going to spend probably eight hours of your time on your feet so you want to be comfortable so this is actually a really good investment in your cricket equipment often overlooked footwear because people always think i've got to get a really good bat yeah you, that's one part of it but you also got to be comfortable on your feet all well, day long. Three hours in the field. Um, so this is actually probably a good investment into a, a good pair of cricket shoes. Yeah. Um, wh which ones? Well, which ones did you go for, Rich? So I think I would have given the 22 yards a little go because I like the batting spin bowling option in those. I did like the lightweight nature of this particular shoe, the old Vector, but I did feel I felt like the strap is probably a little bit too dominant for me and I think I, especially as a spinner, so I'd probably end up here. Mm. I'd like to give these a try, see how I get on, but I think, you know, how often, how many games do you play, wet weather, that type of thing, hard wickets that you play on, a bit slippery, does it work really well, I don't know. I think I'd, I think in order to get more value for my purchase, I might have to go this way. And, and I haven't ducked the question on sizing, I'll come back to it now on my choice. I think if I, was, if I was choosing, I'd probably go the same. I'd be going for the 20 yards, but purely because myself and Rich, we actually do similar things. We bat and we bowl spin. So that's probably the most suited shoe for us. us. From an actual sizing point of view, um, I would traditionally be a size nine in most footwear. 
Um, in this Adidas range, I've tried on nines, I've tried on nine and a halves. Uh, nines uh, are comfortable. I think if, if I'm wearing my cricket socks as well, I think the Adidas range, if anything, would come up slightly smaller than, than big. So I'd, uh, if you're not sure, I'd always go maybe half a size slightly bigger or a full size bigger and you can wear an extra pair of socks. But it's pretty true. Um, if, I, if I ordered a pair of size nines online and I got them and I tried them on, which I've just done, I'd be, I'd be pretty comfortable with that. Yeah. Um, if I have got the option to go in store and try that, obviously your ultimate and then you really get a feel for it but um, if you're unsure maybe uh, towards the size of a half a size slightly bigger but I don't think you'll go too wrong with with, with, with your sizing in this. Cool and um, yeah I'll tell you what team we, we ought to give you a little bit of advice as you could see the the ones with spikes that um, were in the box when you put your spikes on a little tip for you put a little bit of Vaseline on the inside and then screw it in and I tell you okay. what, yeah, the old key's in there. Okay. And the reason why you want to do that is, so during the season, you're going to play in some wet weather at some point. And all you're going to do is you're going to put a, put a protective film between the thread and the screw here, which means at the end of the season, if you need to replace them, because you've worn them out, because you've scored so many runs or bowled so many overs, or walked around on the concrete, very upset after getting out, which is probably me, um, and they've worn out, you can change them. And when you say worn out, Rich, what you, you mean there really, don't you? The spikes just disappearing. Yeah, they do. The yeah. So they, they pretty much just go all the way grind down. down. They grind down, but and, and the one thing I, we would always recommend is pre-season or end of season, try your spikes on again. If you want to change them, you're probably going to have to change maybe all of the front bits and, and maybe not necessarily the back because what you want to do is when you put your foot down, you want to be balanced. So that does obviously affect your balance. But anyway, we've digressed with a bit of extra information. Well, I think also some people uh, would also take the spikes out to use them as then an indoor shoe. Yeah, that's so uh, if you're in environments that are on Astros or indoor sports halls that, like that certainly take the pimpled versions, you can spin the studs out and then use them as a shoe mm. and get a bit more usage out of them. Yeah. Um, which is not, not a bad tip either. Definitely, definitely. And also you've got the shoe technology to use as well, haven't you? Because mm. you get all the benefits. Right, team. So we've gone through quite a lot. Now, plus we ought to just mention all of our all of these shoes come in a variety of different sizes. We'll put that down in our description below so you get all that information. If you liked our video, please do give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel for more videos. We've got loads of stuff coming. And of course, write us a little comment. We look forward to hearing from you. We look forward to seeing you. Good luck with your footwear. May you fly fast. May you run quick.